and my um, exotic location uh, odyssey continues with Singapore. So first up is Gardens by the Bay. This is the one with these uh, super trees in. So here are the super trees, yes. Rather than using real ones, we built some artificial ones. Quite cool actually. Let's go up onto that skywalk and see what the view is like. Whoa, this is impressive. And this one has a big waterfall in. This is cool. This is the Cloud Forest Dome. It also has a wedding photo shoot. The bridesmaids giving people the finger. Not entirely sure what that is supposed to be. It's probably a fashion show of some description. Definitely interesting. Any road, we are here to look at plants, not uh, fingers of fashion. Oh, this is cool. Probably won't have to go up there. Why do they have to put all these walkways high? Now it's amazing what you can make out of Lego. We've got real plants and the Lego versions all mixed together here. So three years since I've been to uh, Singapore. Nothing much seems to have changed. Still hot, still clean. Well, of course, I have to get the bear lion in, don't I? Along with five million other people. So day two and um, thought I'd come to Sentosa Island, uh, not for the uh, amusement but to have a look at um, an old fort that was here. Also I'll probably have a look at the uh, beaches as well while I'm at it. Now I managed to uh, get away from the um, theme park which was very difficult to navigate through. It's sort of pretty pleasant. Uh, I think this is what St. Arthur Island used to look like uh, before they built on it. Uh, this thing here is an old monorail uh, track. I'm not quite sure where it went, but it's quite pleasant. I feel a bit more relaxed than I did when I was trying to navigate out of the hell that was front of St. Arthur Island. Now, I've got two options to go to the, the fort now. I can either take the ground level option or go on the viewing deck, which as you can see is quite high. So we might be down very, very quickly and going on the ground. I'm managing it. 36 metres in the hair. Oh, it's better now that I can see trees. See, I've come quite a way. I had to go through, path, through the middle of those poor group of people. I don't think they quite understood. Excuse me. Oh, and we've arrived. I wasn't 
too bad. Now I like that. I think it's free. Yeah, because it doesn't involve throwing you around and making your stomach contents come back up. I mean, it's, uh, it's history as well, which is not necessarily um, something that people want to pay for. Yeah, this is cool. It's quite interesting. I'm uh, just by the beach and it's really quiet to say that it's coming up to uh, noon and it's a Sunday. I think everybody must have gone into the theme parks and um, enjoying themselves in there. Well, I ain't got a peace and quiet of the beach. See, very quiet beach. Just nice. A little bit of land and the island is um, the southernmost point of continental Asia. So I've been to Land's End. Let's go to the southern end of Asia now. And what can we see from the southernmost bit of uh, continental Asia? Ships. Well, I suppose, what did you expect really? Sort of sea monsters, dragons. Yeah. Just the sea, isn't it? Because it's sort of the land has run out now. I know it doesn't tell us a, let's say, what round the botanic gardens. And some of the sites from Singapore are really good, like this rooftop bar, uh, which um, we were getting a little worried with because there was a big thunderstorm not far away. Uh, um, it did have to say that you uh, they would evacuate the bar if there was lightning, um, but we managed to fix drinks and Just come down instead. Bar. 